Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got for you another flip through of what I believe is um, probably the girliest journal that I have ever made or seen. Um, it's this itty bitty, very tiny little journal here. I usually do a six by nine. This is like a five by seven or something like that. Here, I got my ruler right here. Let's see. Yeah, five. Five seven, yeah, that's right. It's been a long time since I made the cover. But um, anyways, the cover was made from a kit from Ellie Cine. Uh I found her on Facebook. And she cuts up um, materials that she finds at, like, I think, thrift stores, stuff like that, old clothes, different things like that. So that's what I've done with that. Oh, this is a little pressed uh, flower from my mother's garden, and it's in a coin little envelope thingy. Maybe I should zoom you guys in, see if I can do that. Let's see. The camera's probably going to shake for a minute. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So this is a window envelope pocket that I made, and then here's just a little uh, dyed note card. I thought somebody could write their address information on it. Looks like I need to glue the pocket down better. I used this uh, placemat that um, I tried using for dyeing pages and it didn't work. And so I cut it up and tried using it for the inside of the cover. I have this little embossed journal card here. And this pocket here is actually an envelope that I left, cl not closed, but you know, that here, here's the flap to the envelope. So it's upside down, and then I cut the sides. And I have this little note card here from a digital. And there's the other side of the envelope. Got some paper, more paper, more dyed paper. I think that's like scrapbook paper from a paper pad. A journal card that I made um, using, uh, it's from a master board that I made. Another dyed note card. No, it's a lace dyed note card. And then we have this embossed, um, what are these things called? Paint chips. And this is a medicine bag pocket that I made. So you just fold the medicine bag up and glue down the sides and it becomes a double pocket. And then because of the way I glued it down, I glued it here, here, and here on the back side. There's a pocket there and it's got this little embossed journal card. Got some paper, some lace, more paper, more paper, lots of paper. Here's an envelope that I sewed in to the center signature. And I've got these uh, scorecards from, I think they're bridge, bridge scorecards. Just put those in there. Added writing space and we can write all over the envelope. More dyed pages. So here we have this embossed journal card. In this pocket we have some wallpaper, little wallpaper sample there. And then this is a handmade um, library card pocket. I showed how to make these on my channel. And it's just clipped in with a little paper clip there. And here we have just a little, um, I think this is like one of those little notebooks. And it's a little dress. Somebody sent that to me, Delilah Anderson. Thank you so much. Goes really well in this little journal here. <clears throat> so here we have a playing card that I backed. Here's more from the master board that I had made. Another journal card there. And then this is the corner of an envelope. And then it just, as you can see, the uh, envelope print on the inside there. And it just slides over the corner of the page like so. And I like the fact that it's completely removable so that people have the whole page to be able to write on as well. And then on this side, I had tacked some guest checks and on this side. And there's more paper. Here's the other side of that envelope. 
So in here, we have one of these hotel key card pockets and a little tag that I made out of some scrap cardstock. And then here we have a little, one of those little window envelopes and inside I put this ticket that I believe Delilah Anderson also sent me. And it just says, a uh, strawberry music festival. I thought it was cute. And I like the fact that somebody could write on it. Maybe they'll swap it out for their own tickets that they get or something. Or just add to it, one of the two. And then this is a little, one of those little envelopes I decorated with some lace. And then this is another paint chip. Just put uh, some scrap paper in the back so it can be written on. And you can write on the front of most paint chips as well. So that's nice. And the back of this can be written on. I like the hunt for um, all the different writing space. Where can you write on it? This is a double journal card, a pursed double journal card that I showed how to make also on my channel. Now try to try to remember to link the video down below, but I just sewed it in into the middle as a signature, you know, but somebody can open it up right all over it. Um, I just thought it was really cute, really went with a journal. So we got some scrapbook paper there. Remove this paper clip. So I got a little piece of scrap paper that I stamped on. And then kind of flipping it over to this side. We got this envelope that I made. Could be opened up and written on. And then we just got a piece of folded paper here. Quite simple, but I like I like the thought of it once it's being once it's written on how it's gonna look kind of just being clipped to that side of the page. So. And then I put the envelope over it like so. And then I put the little piece of note paper, scrap paper that I stamped on there, and take this itty bitty paper clip and clip it all down. So just like that. And this piece of paper is quite thick, so it's kind of stubborn getting it to getting it to go in there, but it does go. Here we have one of these window envelope pockets. I had some teeny tiny envelopes, window envelopes, so I used it to make one of those pockets. And I just put um, one of these, these cards, flashcard things in this one, and this little uh, Rolodex card in this one. And then I had this playing card here, whoops. Kind of wrinkled up on the end there. Didn't get glued down well enough. So I had this one in this pocket. And then I have this little tea bag that I, tea bag pocket thing that I decorated. And inside it's got a little double journal card. Just like so. And again, I do have tutorials up for this. Um, except they're in black and white. The ones that I made on the video. So that just sits all in there like so. Now we got some more paper, more paper, more writing paper. Lots of writing paper. This one I turned in, it was uh, too big for the signature and so instead of cutting it off I just folded the sides in and turned it into a couple pockets. So here we have this um, notebook, envelope notebook. And I do have a tutorial up on how to make this. Again, I'll try to remember to link these below in the description box. I made that one out of wallpaper. I really like how that one turned out. You make something that's like, it's gonna be so hard for me to give it away because I really like it, but if you kept everything, I mean, well, you wouldn't have enough room, or at least I don't. So this is a digital that I had printed um, I printed a whole bunch of them, and i just been tucking them into every journal that I possibly can. And I would tell you whose digital it, it was if I remembered, but I don't. I don't have any idea. I should because I've used it so many times, but I don't remember. They're really cute, though, so type in on Etsy teddy bear digitals, or vintage photo teddy of teddy bears digitals, something like that. I'm sure they'll come up. And then here we have another dyed note card. Here we have another playing card that I backed 
really cute with a little girl on it. And then we have some tickets, keep this coupon thingy. And then here we have another paint chip that I put this uh, embroidered iron-on patch, little teddy bear, and backed it so it can be written on. And then this is one of these altered paper clips, which I'll have to flip the page over to get it off because it gets snagged on this lace. Maybe I should come up with a better idea of something to put here because it does not want to come off. Not for me, it doesn't. Okay, well anyways, there's a card here. It's one of these flippy flappy, um, uh, what are they called? Fabric flip journal cards. And then this is, like I said, an altered paper clip. I learned how to make this pocket altered paper clip from, I seen it on Gail's channel first a while back. And then uh, she said it was Corey Dahman's idea, so I went over to her channel and I found it over there as well. So that's the scoop on that. And I did say scoop with an S at the beginning. <laughs> So anyways, there's that there, and more writing paper. Um, somebody sent me, Angela over at Meet the Shrads, Sh Shrods, Shrods, anyways, I don't ever say that as posh as she does, but I try. Um, but anyways, it's just a little note piece of paper, and I just hung it over the page like so. I thought it was neat. So I made this out of a window envelope little journal card with a feather stuck in the middle of it. I was gonna use it as a belly band, but uh, just it wasn't working out very well. It's quite a big piece and so anyways. Oh, I think the problem with, really was, was I put these on it not thinking about how they're not gonna glue down very well. Those little corners. Anyways, moving on. So then we got more paper. There's a little doily, blah, blah, blah. And there's this this thing somebody sent me, I don't have any idea what it is. Um, so if you know, great. But I thought somebody could put it like underneath the writing page as like a uh, writing board. So that was my thought process. So I just stuck it in the back and it can be written on as well. And then here we have uh, another embossed journal card. And then here we have what's called a woven pocket. This was originally Gail Agostinelli's idea. I did my version um, on my channel. She does a square, I do a rectangle, so they have different measurements. And then um, Corey Dahman's even done her own where she has like six or eight pockets, which is really neat. Um, so go check that out. Go check out those videos. They're, again, woven pocket. Type that in on YouTube and see what comes up. Um, so anyways, it's got this tag here. It's got this tag here. Got a tag here, and it's got a tag here. So then I just slide them all back in. One there, I think this one went here. This one went here. This one goes there. And this goes back here. So that is that journal completed. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you're having a great and wonderful day. I hope that you join me in my next video. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Have a blessed and wonderful day, guys. Bye.